everybody, and welcome to the February 2020 episode of Out of the Vault. If you are new to my channel, let me just say welcome. It is a pleasure to have you. And for all of you returning, I'm sure you're really excited to discuss the magic of Disney once again. So today we're going to be stepping into the world of Studio Ghibli. And as I said in the previous episode, even though Disney doesn't own the rights to Studio Ghibli anymore, if it wasn't for John Lasseter being the friend that he is to Hayao Miyazaki and Isao Takahata, none of these movies, except for the few that actually did make it to the United States, would have actually gotten here, and Studio Ghibli would not be the household name that it was. Neither would Spirited Away have ever truly been known as something truly special. But today is about a very interesting one. The 13th film in the Studio Ghibli collection from 2002, The Cat Returns. Why is it so important? Well, it's not because of the fact that it is connected to another previous Studio Ghibli film, which is Whisper of the Heart, which also is my personal favorite, but this was the first film to be released from these amazing people after spirited away. So the fact that we got something so incredible and iconic like spirited away, which won all of those awards and notification, what was going to happen after? So one of the few things that I will say is people wonder what the cat returns really is. Is it a sequel to whisper of the heart? Is it a prequel to Whisper of the Heart, or is it in fact the story that is being told through the girl in Whisper of the Heart with the Baron? And once again, Carrie Elwes returns to voice the Baron, as well as including a whole bunch of other great cast members, including Anne Hathaway as the main character, the girl Haru, and Baron's friends, including Moda, who is voiced by Peter Boyle, and Toto the Crow by Elliot Gould. Not to mention the Cat King, who is voiced voiced by Tim Curry in one of his most unrecognizable voice acting roles to date. So the story is about a girl named Haru who is just an average girl, but she really wants to be something more. She wants to be one of the cool kids. And one day when she's walking with her friend home from school, she sees a very interesting black cat. Not because of the fact that it's a black cat, but at the fact that it is properly carrying a little package in its mouth, and he has a jeweled collar. And then Haru notices that this cat is about to get hit by a truck, and she saves it. And all of a sudden, the cat stands up on its two hind feet and says, Thank you. Watch for your reward. And then the wackiness ensues. Haru is found by the subjects of the Cat Kingdom, and the Cat King wants her to marry his son, the Prince of the Cats. So, this movie is without a doubt one of the light-hearted ones, but definitely one of the most true fantasy-driven films. It is kooky, it is cute, if you are a cat person, you are probably going to adore this movie. I also love the character of Haru, just because of how average she is. She really plays what every average person thinks that an average person is. She is not the most beautiful person, she is not the most perfect person, but she still is a good person and she has a ton of heart and she always knows what it is to be kind to others. Oh, the banter between the Baron, Muta, and Toto is definitely fun. Peter Boyle as Muta is definitely one of the best characters because he is that extremely fat white cat that we actually did see in Whispers of the Heart as well. So the fact that even he gets a very interesting role is really nice. But the story itself at some points can be a little bit slow and sometimes it can be a little bit out there, but truthfully, as fun as this movie is, it's not perfect. Now that's not to say because of the fact that some of the Studio Ghibli movies that came before it are just that epic, but no, it's just that this movie is just an average fun watch. It's just that. There's nothing else that's really bad about this movie. It's just that the story is simple and fun, and when you finish watching this movie, you're just going to be happy that you saw it. And I am just happy to see this interesting story come out of one of my personal favorites in the Studio Ghibli library, but 
Would I wanted something a little bit more from it? Sure, it could have been something more. I mean, it's definitely a not as grand. It's definitely a much simpler story. But I own it. I've watched it numerous times, and it definitely is a cute, fun watch. If that's what you're looking for on a day that you just want to watch something that makes you feel good, The Cat Returns is definitely one of them. So I am going to give The Cat Returns two and a half stars out of four. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. Please leave your comments in the box below, and let's discuss The Cat Returns. And I will see you in the next Next one! Hey, thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. If you're new here and want to see more of what my channel has to offer, please click on the link to my last video or hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all of my uploads. Content of all sorts is posted here quite often, so trust me, you do not want to fall behind. I will see you in the comments, and actions speak louder than words.